So you're thinking about moving to DeSoto, Texas, and you kind of want to get an idea of where it's at in regards to Dallas, the airport, uh, you know, all the relevant information you need to know before actually making a decision to move to DeSoto. And so that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to walk you around on the Google map and show you a little bit of what's going on in and around DeSoto. And after this video, if you haven't already, you definitely want to check out our DeSoto video, the full vlog tour where we take you around and show you everything you need to see inside of DeSoto. But here, let's uh, help you get a little understanding of where it's close to, what's going on in DeSoto, and if it's the right fit for you. So let's just get into it right now. All right, so here we are in the map and you can easily see right here, let's see, Dallas is, is I mean, uh, DeSoto actually, DeSoto is almost directly south of Dallas off of, you could take 35 or you can take Highway 67. Now this is big difference, this is 35E, okay? So don't get that confused, uh, 35E and it splits into, let's see, let's just zoom out there a little bit and show you that what happens is, is up here in Denton, up here in Denton, 35, I-35 splits to 35W, so that goes to 35 West, and it splits into 35E and comes through Dallas, 35W goes through Fort Worth, 35E comes through Dallas, and then they reconnect down here in uh, Hillsboro, right above Hillsboro, okay? So you wanna make sure if you're coming, driving from the South or driving from the North, you make sure you take the correct 35 to get to Dallas because we've had many uh, people take the wrong one. All right. But you'll see here DeSoto almost directly south of Dallas. Uh, 35 splits off into 67. And you can see, uh, so 35 will take you straight down to Austin. Okay. They call that the ATX. Let's just leave it there. And 67 will actually take you to my hometown. So that's Stephenville, S Town. We'll call it S Town, Stephenville. You would never ever want to go there, I'm sure. But just in case you wanted to know if you wanted to visit, my parents are still there. My parents are still in Stephenville, Texas for the last 48 years, I guess. Same house too. Same house. Yep. And still married. Yep. So they're just hanging out, chilling down there. But anyways, we zoom in on DeSoto. Let's do some quick orientation. You'll see DeSoto to, to Dallas, just so you get the correct mileage on there, which is going to be right at 15.8 miles, 20 minutes. But if you're going to be commuting into downtown Dallas, this is what you'll have to keep in mind is the fact that you'll be going with traffic into downtown Dallas. So probably double up on that. Give yourself 40 to 45 minutes just in case. And if we want to look at the DFW airport, if you are a, a traveler and frequent traveler, this is not bad. 31 miles, 41 minutes. I would say probably closer to 50, 55, maybe even an hour, depending on traffic some days. But you could come up here and hit, uh, you can hit 20 and 20 will take you up and over to uh, 161 or 360. Either one of those, you can see 35. If you're on the, the east side of DeSoto, you come up and hit I-20 and you can take 161 into the south entrance or you can take 360 into the south entrance of the Dallas-Fort Worth area or airport on there. So that's just something to keep in mind. But overall, you come down here and I said this on the vlog though, there's not a lot happening in DeSoto. Nothing wrong with it, but just not a lot happening happening. You can even tell that by look at the yellow spots are the main commercial areas. And you can even see right here that just not a lot going on. And so we start somewhere off of where we where Pleasant Hill. Yeah, this is the main area where we kind of start our vlog tour at. And you'll see most importantly, there's a Starbucks right there. All right. So first and foremost, uh, you're covered. If you're drinking coffee, you've got Planet Fitness. If you need to work out, you got a Kroger, you got the paint store, you got Outback Steakhouse. Good eye, mate. All right. Uh, CC's Pizza, you've got, uh, let's see, the Cinemark, the movie theater, Zach's Philly Steaks. I mean, so you got pretty much a lot of what you need right in that main section. You got Home Depot, Walmart Supercenter, all right here. Of course, anything along 35 is going to be pretty heavily commercial things to do, places to eat, the movie theater. Again, you've got here DeSoto Beer and Wine, Popeye's Chicken, Williams Chicken. Oh, I used to love Williams chicken back in the day. Brahms ice cream. If you haven't had Brahms ice cream before, you definitely want to give that a try. Big Lots AutoZone. You can see that's pretty much it, but you can also see not, I mean, you've got the golf club up here, little little park over here. Not really much going on in DeSoto. I mean, you can see that the parks are a little bit small, The even the commercial spots are a little small. It's very heavily uh, residential in this area. And so a lot of homes, this is going 
going to be a much lower price point actually. So we were taking a look at Cedar Hill. Look at this. So Cedar Hill, 48,189. But if you just go next door to DeSoto, it's closer to 53,000, about 5,000 more. Median home value, 195. That went up a little bit compared to, yeah, 189. Okay, interesting. So 65% Cedar Hill was about 71% on home ownership. Median home value, of course, you know, niche is pretty good. This website's pretty good about stuff. I wouldn't say it's 100% accurate, but uh, it's pretty close to it. Now I'm just going all over the place. Let me go back to find my map. <laughs> but you can see, again, not a lot going over there. The best thing you got going for you is you've got, you know, a straight shot right over here to Joe Pool Lake and Cedar Hill State Park, okay? As we uh, mentioned, I've talked about this before, but Cedar Hill Park and around Joe Pool Lake, some of my favorite areas in the Dallas area to go hiking, biking, running, trail running, boating, camping. They've got really great campsites there. Of course, gated, protected. You will pay an entry fee unless you're a disabled veteran. Disabled veteran here in the state of Texas, you get all your park fees waived. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you've got Dallas College Cedar Hill. That's the Dallas County Community College. So if you're looking at attending a community college, you got that not too far away. But I would say this is probably the best thing going for you is the lake over here. You've got some of this commercial area over here in Cedar Hill as well. Pretty much everything you need for DeSoto is right off of here along 35. And again, because you're on the south side of Dallas, you only got about two to two and a half hour trip down to Austin. You can see here, you're going to cut through Waco. If you want to see Chip and Joanna, you can go to Waco right there. And then you just, uh, you're going to hit Austin. But look at all this area around here. This is the thing is Dallas has so much room to grow. Look at all this green space, green space, green space. And if we really zoom out on here, there's so much green space all around Dallas, Fort Worth. This is going to keep growing and keep growing. We're not landlocked. We're not waterlocked. We're not in hill country. You know, that's a big problem with Austin is if you come down to Austin, first of all, they've got a major river. They call it a lake, but a river here, the Colorado River, and that goes into Lake Austin and uh, Lake Travis over here. Lake Austin is, where's Lake Austin? Is that up here? I don't know Austin all that well, but there's Lake Travis, which is the Colorado River. And anyways, that throws a hiccup. But on top of that, you have hill country. Like a lot of this around here in this green space is hill country, which is why you can see Austin is just, uh, it's got two major highways to going right through the center of it. So that's what kind of makes it all backed up. And then you look at Dallas and you've got loop and a loop and a loop and more loops and they'll probably build out more loops around here. So everything is growing, everything, you know, corporations, businesses, companies, people, everything, they're making their move here to the Dallas area and they expect the population growth in the next seven years to surpass Chicago. All right, that's a pretty big deal. So you have everything you need. I mean, again, DeSoto is really heavily residential area. And again, you know, there's definitely some fun things you could do. Let's see if we dig around over here. Uh, you, well, you got Domino's Pizza, Go Loco, Street Tacos and Burritos. I bet that's pretty good. 4.3. Let's see. Church's Texas Chicken. <laughs> All right. Church's Chicken. Greedies. Oh, nice little bar over there. So you got these little pockets of kind of things to do around there. Again, Walmart Neighborhood Market, but you have the Super Center. I would say the main thing you're going to do is live along 35, but then you can also come here right up the road. You're at uh, near Bishop Arts. So here's Bishop Arts. Where are you at? Oh, right there. So let's say DeSoto to, I wonder if it gives me directions to Bishop Arts. Yeah, there we go. So this would be the closest spot. I would say you've got 13 miles, about 20 minutes. You definitely want to hit that up. And then of course you're right there by the Dallas Zoo. That's also something a, a pretty, a lot of fun to do. Kice Park is pretty good, but otherwise Bishop Arts, I would say that is one of my favorite spots in all of Dallas is Bishop Arts. I get down there as often as possible, but tons of shops, restaurants, bars. I mean, on Sundays, you go down there Saturdays, they've got the New Orleans jazz bands playing out of this one bar. I mean, it's it's just awesome. It's a cool vibe, whatever you need. Ice cream, snacks for the kids. I mean, everything there, cider houses all over in Bishop Art. So I'd say that's a pretty easy, accessible thing. And it's something to get to if you want to hit the nightlife and, and do some other things around, which would probably be the closest option for you in DeSoto. If you don't want to go all the way into downtown Dallas, which really wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if you don't want to go all the way into downtown Dallas, then Bishop Arts is going to be a very close 
option for you. And if I just jump back in here and clear this out and we'll see if I'm missing anything over here, you got the Bear Creek Nature Park over here. So you got a little, you know, a little park over here. But other than that, you know, I will say that that is pretty much it. You know, again, you got some good neighborhoods all around, but again, I would go to the lake. I mean, you're not too far from uh, Mountain Creek Lake up here as well. So that's a good spot. And you've got, um, you know, the park over here as well with the golf courses. So if you're a golfer, there's definitely going to be plenty of places to golf around that area in that Southern area. But uh, you can head up to Bishop Arts, I would say would be the best spot to be to hang out for the weekend. A lot of fun to go over there. But in the meantime, you know, here's the deal. If uh, you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, you just feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Of course, we are happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. I didn't even mention before, my name is Levi. You know, my partner, Travis and I and the team here, you know, we get calls every day. People are making their move here and we're helping them every single day. We love it. So just reach out if we can help you in any way possible. And if you haven't, go check out the full vlog tour on DeSoto. You won't want to miss that as well. And then after that, feel free to research any other area. We pretty much covered them all here in the Dallas area, but we're still working on doing more just for you. So again, whether you're thinking of moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. Check out the vlog tour. Until next time, well, hope to show you around town.